Hello fellow Helldivers, as the game is ever evolving, the devs have dropped us two new stratagems to try out. The last 99 Quasar Cannon and the MG-206 Heavy Machine Gun. While the Quasar Cannon has received a lot of hype and love by the community, the Heavy Machine Gun has left quite a sour taste for the community. Surely it can't be that bad, right? Well, today's video will go over the pros and cons of the weapon and potentially what they can do to potentially fix it. How to get it? You need to be level 12 with 6000 requisition slips to unlock the heavy machine gun. Interact with the ship management terminal on your super destroyer and scroll down to the engineering base section to find the new support weapon. So from playing with the weapon, there are three key points that make the weapon good. High damage for a bullet based weapon, three fire rate options and penetrates light vehicle armor. The heavy machine gun packs a serious punch and unlike the other machine guns, this one has a much more high rate of fire of damage that is capable of stunning targets there and then. Think of using the slugger shotgun on crack, that's the heavy machine gun right here. It's capable of tearing apart the bulletproof shields that most enemies have, atomatron scout striders and heavy devastators and it can even do some damage against hulks as long as you shoot their eye ports. Now it does fail to kill charges with one magazine to their rear side or exposed sides, but this is because of the low magazine size hindering the weapon, although it can kill both spear variants reasonably well. Secondly, as the weapon has quite a small magazine size of 75, you do have to be careful with your shots and aim accordingly to adjust from there. If you use the highest RPM available, then good luck with that, as this is the only weapon in game where you can't use this max RPM successfully all the time. So in this case, using the lowest rate of fire is going to net you more kills and better ease of use when tackling multiple enemies at once. This is where I would say the weapon exceeds well with taking out enemies, as the damage being dealt is much higher than the other machine guns in game, so you can pace your shots with a better damage ratio this time round. The heavy machine gun does its job well, but it could definitely use some improvements. Its drawbacks are extremely noticeable, from its intense recoil, to its small magazine, and lengthy reload times. The lack of third person reticle makes it extremely hard to use and aim the weapon when both in first person and over the shoulder perspective, although there are ways to work around this issue. Now I'm up for weapons having different pros and cons to them as long as they are balanced out correctly, but I feel that this weapon does not have a lot of pros attached to it to just balance out the many negatives it provides. It's hard to find a situation to where the heavy machine gun truly shines, its low ammo capacity makes it significantly worse at clearing crowds than the other machine guns, its recoil is atrocious to handle and you can only use it in burst to single fire to really control the weapon fully, and its reload speed is so bad that if you use this in a bug galactic front, by the time you finish reloading the weapon, the bug would have already half eaten you by then. Now while it can kill armor targets quite quickly, it pales in comparison to the auto cannon or generally any other machine guns that have a better control and magazine size from there. Because of its clunky nature, the heavy machine gun is best used against bots due to its long and stationary reload animation, but also because you have plenty of time and spacing available to take on the bots who aren't too fast, while well, the bugs will be on you straight away. In summary, the heavy machine gun sucks to be used, as currently it feels more like it's actively doing more to kill you rather than the enemies instead. We can fix a few of the issues that the weapon suffers at the current moment, such as using the armor set with recoil reduction perk applied to it, crouch down or lie prone before firing for better accuracy, when firing for auto, switch to third person mode and let the bullet traces guide your aim, and use the 400 RPM firing mode for most encounters and then use the highest RPM if up close and urgent. These are the top 4 ways we can deal with it until then. For the long term fix though, Arrowhead needs to sit down and ask ourselves what they want this weapon to be really good at when compared to the others. We already have a good amount of machine guns that do exactly what the heavy machine gun does here but for less, so we need to break the weapon apart and rebuild from there. Remove the highest RPM it has and add a completely new but much slower RPM to the mix so the weapon hits feels more harder and powerful on impact and a bit more accurate. Reduce the recoil by 10-15% to and allow it to stack with the recoil reduction perks so it can feel even more accurate when combined. Give it medium or heavy armor penetration as it will make it a one of a kind machine gun to use. 
a slightly bump out reload speed just to make it a bit more faster. And then lastly, give it a crosshair option because, come on, why not? The devs now don't need to follow this weapon through one to one. They just need to look at the weapon's core weakness and buff that out. If they made the weapon fire much more slower than now and reduced its recoil pattern, I truly believe the players wouldn't care so much for the small magazine size it has. Until then though, it's probably best you leave the machine gun alone unless you have a loadout in mind just for it. If you enjoyed today's video and want more in the future, be sure to subscribe and comment just so I can hear your thoughts. It was great sharing today's video with you all and I hope to see you again soon.